What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today I want to talk about the new port key rewards that were finally confirmed with us yesterday in Wizards Unite. Um, I want to go ahead and go over the post. I want to read through all of the port key rewards and give each of the two, five, and 10k kilometer port keys a grade uh, A, B, C, D, E, or F, whatever it is. It's actually just, there's no, there's no E. But anyway, I want to go ahead and go through these port key rewards and talk about my favorite port key now that we have these updated rewards and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the update. So as you can see on the screen right now, FaZe had posted yesterday, we've updated Harry Potter Wizards Unite with the following port keys, updated port key rewards to include the following possible fragment rewards. Current rewards will still be available in those port keys. Two kilometers now includes Wizard Portrait Dumbledore, Wizard Portrait Voldemort, and the Nimbus 2000. The five kilometer now contains the Sorting Hat, the Veil, Faux Glass, Sirius Black, Mirror of Erised, and the Demi Guys. And the 10 kilometer contains the Goblet of Fire, Buckbeak, Pensieve, Young Harry Potter, Picket, Flying Fort Anglia, Swooping Evil, plus increased amounts of spell energy. Now, I know that there were a lot of people that were talking about uh, spell energy not being good as a reward. And while I do agree, usually the spell energy will come in conjunction with those fragments. I actually just picked up a 10 kilometer yesterday as soon as the update dropped just by luck. And so I'm excited to open it because I'm really excited to see how many fragments I get, uh, what the rewards look like. And if I do get any spell energy, how exactly it will be increased within that particular port key. So if you've had an experience with a 10 kilometer already since the update, let me know down below, uh, A, what fragment you got so you can flex a little bit, and B, if you did get spell energy in conjunction with a foundable fragment. I'm just curious to see exactly how that works now. Now, of course, I want to go ahead and look at the contents now that we have the update and now that you can see everything all at the same time. So we're going to start with the two kilometer port key. The two kilometer port key has now been changed from a normal silvery looking port key into a boot once it is unlocked. Uh, while they're on the map, they're going to look about the same. I know that there have been people who have voiced their opinions about changing the appearance between the three so we know exactly what they look like and that is something that I believe they're currently weighing. They haven't actually given an opinion on this but for now once it is unlocked the two kilometer will look like a boot and inside that boot you can find young Jenny Weasley, Hagrid's umbrella, the Niffler, the Quidditch World Cup, the Nimbus 2000, the baby Norwegian Ridgeback, the Bogger Cabinet, the Portrait of Dumbledore, the Dirigible Plums, Flock of Mimos, Magic Most Evil, and the portrait of Voldemort. Uh, I really like this. The value for two kilometers, especially now that Adventure Sync is live, is just gone straight through the roof. I mean, the portrait of Dumbledore is an extremely rare foundable. I have a lot of problems still finding the flock of memos and magic most evil. Uh, the portrait of Voldemort, the Quidditch World Cup, Niffler, Hagrid's Umbrella, those are all things that are kind of holding me back from a golden page. So I'm looking forward to getting those out of two kilometers. And for this particular port key, I'm going to give it the grade of B+. I don't think it's quite an A. I do think that it contains a lot of the things that you need in the day-to-day, -day, but still things that you can find if you do look in those nested areas or those landmark flagged areas on your map. Next, we have the five kilometer port key rewards, and this one actually contains a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna kind of breeze through this, so bear with me. Inside the 5K, which looks like a tea kettle, once it has been unlocked, you can find the Hogwarts House Cup, Sorting Hat, Mertlap, Demiguise, Fountain of Magical Brethren, The Veil, Nocturne Alley, Sirius Black, The Puffskin, Mirror of Erised, The Faux Glass, Quidditch Pitch Stands, The Horned Serpent, Centaur Bow, Horned Serpent Egg, The Hogwarts A History Book, a History of Magic, Guide to Transfiguration, Extendable Ears, Fanged Frisbee, Quick Quotes Quill, and The Deluminator. So with the five kilometer uh, port key, you actually see them starting to delve into the Fortress Foundables as well. So it does dilute the pool just a little bit, but I haven't seen a Sorting Hat uh, except uh, like Wizards Unite Fan Fest, which is when the spawns were supposed to be insane on purpose. I haven't seen the Veil in a while, Sirius Black, I haven't seen actually maybe but once or twice since the Legends of Hogwarts event, which was forever ago. 
uh, and, and all kinds of those things. So there are some rare foundables and as you see, you progress from the two kilometer to the five kilometer, you can now see that they are including much more difficult to find traces of magic, which I think is perfect and I think is really well balanced. Um, for me per personally, I'm not a huge fan of the oddities being in the Porky rewards. I think that those should be something that you find in fortresses or on the map. Although I will not ever complain about getting a centaur bow uh, potentially. So a centaur bow, I think I could see that, that's fine. I see a lot of horned serpent eggs and horned serpents just because of where I live. And I know that you guys are gonna be freaking out because you're like, I've never seen horned serpents, I need those. It's been holding my page back for forever. Well, the good news is community day is coming up and you can check out that video above if you want. But the second thing that I'll say is, and I should have said this at the beginning, is that all of these opinions are exactly that. They're my opinions based on the location in which I get to play and how my experience is as a player. Whereas, you know, people in California may see things that I never get to see or see a lot of things that I never get to see. So with that in mind, I should have said that at the beginning, but yeah, so there you go. That's our five kilometers for the five kilometers. I'm going to give this one a, a B, not quite a B plus, but a B just because it is a little bit diluted with these uh, fortress foundables. I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't have any trouble finding those. It seems like those are the easiest foundables to get in the game, honestly. So uh, I could definitely see where this would be a high B plus or maybe a low tier A if there were no fortress foundables involved. So moving on to our 10 kilometer port keys. Like I said, last but not least, we have the 10 kilometer port keys and included in these rewards. Uh, once you unlock the 10 kilometer, it will transform into a flattened soccer ball or a flattened football, depending on where you are in the world. So we're going to go ahead and go over these right now. We've got Buckbeak, Picket, Advanced Potion Making, Young Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire, Sword of Gryffindor, The Pensieve, Swooping Evil, Werewolf, Peruvian Vipertooth Egg, Common Welsh Green Egg, Chinese Fireball Egg, Antipodean Opali Egg, The Night Bus, Weasley's Flying Car, The Dark Mark, Harry Potter's Wand, Ron Weasley's Wand, and Hermione's Wand. So these are all right awards, I would say, um, or rewards rather. I like that Picket is here. I like that Swooping Evil is here. I'll never say no to some mysterious artifacts because I love the mysterious artifacts personally, but I'm kind of meh with the werewolf and again, the oddities in general. I know that the eggs are gonna be hard to find or near impossible to find unless there's a special event again. And so the, the eggs, uh, will be found inside these port keys. That's a really great thing. But once you get all of those eggs or once you get all of those foundables that you need, like for example, I don't need any more werewolves. So in a couple days, my 10 kilometer port key hatches or opens or whatever you want to call it. When that opens up, I'm a little bit nervous to see what comes out because if it's a werewolf, I'll be a little bit upset that I walked 10 kilometers to get something that I already have. And this really goes across all of the port keys. This isn't something that is unique to just the 10 kilometer. Um, I think that it's really important to note that in general, if you are full on something and you get something out of it, then it's not gonna be very helpful to you. So hopefully they can fix that or hopefully that can be something that they revisit in the future. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna go with um, I hate to like not give any of them an A, but if you wanted to scale them all up, I guess the two kilometers could be an A and then these could be Bs because I don't think that this is terrible, but I don't think that it's amazing either. Um, I know that the dark mark and the wands are uh, fortress foundables and so they're pretty easy to find. Werewolves come around for a few days out of the month, so those aren't exactly super rare. Uh, but all of these other ones I'm really excited about. I will say that Picket and Swooping Evil in particular are very, very exciting to see. So I can't wait to get some of those as well as, you know, sort of Gryffindor, Pensieve uh, and those things that I need in order to prestige those pages. So I'm not trying to grade these in a way that makes it seem negative or like there's something wrong with these because they are definitely improvements. Uh, but things that I would like to see in the future are potentially removing uh, easy to get fortress rewards like from the five kilometer here you can actually see that you know extendable ears the books i have almost gotten all of those pages to gold already those not super super tough to get of course the quick quotes quill and the deluminator are sort of rare so to speak so it would be nice to keep things in the port keys 
that are rare and hard to find basically is what I'm getting at. So let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, have you seen anything rare? Have you gotten anything rare since the port key update? I'm super interested to see what your response is and how you feel about these. Um, overall, I am excited. I know that I like gave them all B's or whatever, but um, I, I know that, that they're improving the game and that's the main thing. The main thing is that they are continuing to listen to the feedback that we are giving them as players and they are working super super hard constantly to make sure that these rewards are meeting our expectations so if it doesn't make sure you leave me a comment down below and i can convey your feedback to the wizards unite team and all of that good stuff so thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it i hope you enjoyed olivander's wand shop today hanging out in here was pretty fun and uh, i hope that you got something of value out of this video if that's the case make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video down below as well as clicking that red subscribe button if you haven't already and ring those bell notifications so you can be made aware the next time i produce a piece of wizards unite content thank you so much for watching the video and until next time peace